So one interesting question that I got from a viewer was what happens if the mower is driving around and the power fails, which means that the base station will no longer be running the perimeter boundary wire. There'll be no signal for it to pick up. Well, what I've been told is that um, it should detect that it's not within a controlled area or a bounded area and stop, which means that it shouldn't run over edges and do silly things like that. So let's see what happens. I have turned off power to the base station, so right now there is nothing. So it start to continue, it's outside its normal timer range at the moment, but I'll say start. And it says, please wait, start up in progress. You wouldn't normally see this, you would normally just go to some options about how long you want it to run. But now it seems to be looking for the signal, and we'll see what happens. Oh look, it says, no loop signal, okay. So it's detected the fact that the loop is not active, even though it's not actually in the base station right now, so it's got no physical connection to it, it's detected that there is no loop in this area, so it won't run. That's a good safety feature. So now we'll make life a bit harder for the mower. What I'm going to do is start it up with the loop activated, and then I'm going to pull the power and see what happens. The mower will be in motion while it's happening, and we'll see how it reacts. Okay, so power is now on and it's running and I'm pulling power out to the circuit now I just disabled the loop the mower seems to be looking around it's still moving but the loop is off you may not be able to see but the little green LED here is turned off so it was in motion now it's discovered that the loop is not active so it's just stopped once again, that's pretty cool, and that happened fairly fast. It didn't really move very far. So if the mower is moving and there is a blackout, it should just stop safely. So now I'm really going to ramp it up and try to trick the mower. I'm going to have it running directly towards this drop-off, and I'm going to kill the power to the, um, the base station, which means the boundary wire, a little bit before it gets to it, and we'll see how it reacts. I've got an appliance remote control that I can plug into the base station so I can just kill the power by remote control any time. So now with this appliance remote control, I can press this button, it turns the base station on or off. So it's now powered up, and then I can kill this when the mower is just entering danger. Alright, so here we are. I've got the drop danger just there. The boundary wire is directly in front of the mower. I'm going to set it to override timer so that it will run now. Override timer, start. And then I'm going to kill the power just before the mower gets there doing its hello I'm alive beeps, starting up, and kill the power. Look at that, it stopped, pretty cool. Got to the edge. Oh, actually it's still moving, interesting. I think it's trying to find the boundary wire. So it knows that there's no signal. It's checking for it, and it's just stopped. So even if the mower was heading towards a drop off, and you had a blackout, like one second before the mower got there, it's probably going to be okay. That's pretty good. And now, let's see what happens. I will turn the power back on again to the base station. It's powering up. I haven't touched the mower in the meantime. But at any moment now, it should start getting the signal from the boundary wire. It's detected it. It's come back to life. So presumably now, we'll just continue mowing as before. Top marks, Husqvarna. Pretty good fail-safe behaviour, I like it.